Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Ultimate Review by PureCast9. In today's episode, I'm going to give you the most in-depth review of the Tribit Stormbox Micro. So the awesome folks over at Tribit reached out to me and asked me, would I like to review this unit of theirs? I was like, of course, please send it over. And they did. Mind you, before the lockdown. All right. So I just want to make it clear right from the start that this is not a paid promotion. I'm not promoting Tribit by any means, nor are they paying me any money. So I have the liberty of saying all that I love about this speaker and a few things that they could improve upon. With that said, let's begin. Okay, first, let's get the specs out of the way. So the Tribit Stormbox Micro is a 9 watt RMS speaker. It's got a 2600 or milliamp battery. ROX Bluetooth version 5 is IPX7 water and dust resistant and it's got TWS or True Wireless Studio. So that means you can pair one Stormbox Micro with another Stormbox Micro and get true audio separation when listening to music or watching movies. Now, the build. This is where I was pleasantly surprised right out of the box because this feels very, very good quality. It almost feels premium. Starting with the really grippy matte rubber finish at the bottom, which helps the speaker stay stationary. And on top, you have fabric, which also feels very high quality. It's got the Tribit logo at the center. Below that, the multifunction controls, the usuals. And on the side, you have the power button, LED indicators, and the Bluetooth pairing button. So with those out of the way, now let's talk about how did it perform in my testing. Now, I don't just say good sound or bad sound. I always mention how a speaker is able to render three frequencies that broadly make up any sound that you hear. The highs, the mids, and the lows. So starting off with the highs, they're not overwhelming, but they're perfect. They don't distort at max volume. At lower volumes, they are still audible. There's no crackling whatsoever. And they're at that sweet spot where they don't sound very harsh. And they're at that sweet spot where they sound natural, yet very, very audible. Now coming to the mids, this was a tricky area because I found that it depends from track to track. So if the recording, if your source material is really high quality and the highs, the mids and the lows are very well balanced in the track that you're listening to, this produces those three at max volume just fine. And I keep talking about max volume because if you're listening at max volume, that is where most speakers will start to distort because they can't handle those frequencies. But most tracks at max volume, the storm box micro worked fine. The mids where the vocals are sounded pretty good, natural and uh, maintained that natural warmth of the voice. At times though, I would find that the mids, the vocals could be a bit more clean. They sounded just a tad bit muffled and certain tracks, very few, had a bit of distortion where at max volume only, but I felt like it could have been cleaner. Now the low end or the bass is where it's surprising because this is an ultra portable speaker. It fits right in your hand. It's super light, so you don't expect this to punch out a lot of bass, but surprisingly, for its size, it does punch out quite a bit of bass, and that too, without any sort of distortion. And the fact that the bass port is at the bottom, so it's bottom firing, so on the surface, you keep it on, if you keep it flat, that surface kind of resonates with the bass, so sounds better. If you want, you could even prop it up, so that it's facing directly the person or the group of people sitting in front of it. So that's up to you. So all in all, I would say for a portable speaker, for its size, it is commendable and it definitely packs a punch and it's considerably loud. Having Bluetooth version 5 is a plus because that reduces the latency. There is almost no latency when you're watching movies or videos on your phone and relaying the sound through the speaker. There is almost no lag or delay between the visual and the audio. So that's something very good. It also has an inbuilt microphone, answering ending calls just fine. Person on the other end could hear me clearly, so long as I was uh, comparatively close to the speaker and not too far away from it, it was fine. So all in all, I would give the speaker a solid 3.8 out of 5. It's definitely above average, and it's definitely something you can buy if you're looking for something that is ultra portable, packs a punch in terms of sound, good sound quality, and really, really nice materials that feels really good in the hand. So definitely, it gets my seal of buy with confidence. So that's been the review, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And subscribe to my channel. And right now, before I go, I'm going to leave you with two tracks that I'm going to play on this speaker. You guys form your judgment and let me know in the comments what you think of it. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.